let's talk about the new grain cart and why I love it. So here's the new grain cart, all cleaned up, post-season harvest is over. I gave it a wash yesterday. So let's go through the grain cart and tell you what we like about it and why we bought it. The first thing and the main thing is obviously the size. I can see this is a 12, so it's a 1200, actually a 1250 bushel cart. Our other cart was a thousand. Uh, if you had good dry corn, you could get a thousand on. So a thousand bushels, that's what we want to put on the trucks. Almost everything we did was like 22% this year. It kind of stacks on itself and piles up really, really high. And it's, it's harder to get things full because you get way up over the top. When, it, when it's dry, it kind of flows and spreads out. So now having another 250 bushels, maybe even a little more than that, over our old cart, it's really easy to get a truckload on here and it's still not quite full yet. So I can get 70,000 pounds on here while we're unloading on the go, the combine and the grain cart going together. 70,000 easy. Uh, if I was lucky, I could get 55 on the other one. So what that does for us is before, a lot of times in wetter corn earlier in the year or a year like this year when things just really didn't dry down very fast in the field, the old car often to get a good full truck had to go to the truck two times. So it had to leave the combine two times to load a truck. This one time and it comes back and the way I was suggesting they do it, you know, even if I got more than a truckload on there and there's two trucks at the field, don't load the second truck, just come right back to me and leave several thousand pounds on. And that, re that really worked really well. So we were able to get the cart back to the combine faster and really keep things moving along. And there's a few other features on here that are different than our old cart that we like on this one. The auger is one thing, the positioning of the auger in a couple of different ways. So you can see now it's kind of in the storage or roading position. It lays right down here against the tongue. There's kind of a rubber bumper there. But you see that black piece there, when it's in the field, field position is it lays horizontally over there. And that folds different than our old cart. And I like this quite a bit. The old cart was side folding. So I'm going to be sticking up here and it would fold around to the side. And we had to get, because of the reach, we'd had to get closer to the truck. So about where this one, the bottom auger comes out of the tank, that's about the plane this way that our old spout was on. So you can see this one comes quite a bit farther forward and reaches farther out. We don't have to get as close to the trucks if we used to. And when you have this front folding, we can fold and unfold when we are next to the trucks, which is nice. Or if you get yourself in kind of a jam, get kind of out of line or something, you can fold up and drive away and start over again. The other one, you got in a jam with the trucks, side folding, you're folding towards the truck. There's kind of nothing you can do. If you get in trouble, kind of becomes a two person thing to not do any damage. So let's raise the auger up. So you kind of see where it is. It's in the loading truck position. And then we'll run the spout and show you how much that moves. I like that a lot. The spout moves out pretty far. There we go. And then we can move the spout. So it just about goes straight out. So you can get farther and farther away from the truck. Or if you're up close, you can go about straight down with it. And that's kind of a, a nice clean way to put stuff in the truck. It's shooting straight down. It's not splashing around. Usually probably about like that, something like that. It just depends on the situation, but it's nice to be able to move it. And then we'll put it back. It'll automatically go back into field stowage position now. So it'll just fold flat across the front. So it should stop here in just a second. Just like that storage or going down the road all you got to do is flip this handle right here it says field position here storage here so we want to go back to storage flip that up so you just need to do that whenever you leave a field or put it away and click my SCV and it should go all the way back down all the way back down to the tongue and I'll be ready to put away take it off of here and put it in the shed until uh, wheat harvest next summer boom there we go tires are a lot bigger than the old cart which of course carrying more in the field that's what we wanted these are 1250 width tires our old ones were 900s so these are, are quite a bit bigger and I like it doesn't make it wider I'm not so sure it's not even narrower than the old cart I should have measured it because the axle is quite a bit narrower and goes deeper 
into the wheels that are really tucked in there. And no, we didn't get tracks on the cart. We could have, it was gonna be another $30,000, $35,000 to get tracks. Um, just didn't wanna spend that. I know I love the combine tracks. I've said that a bunch of times. Cart tracks would be nice, but um, these big tires look like they're doing a really good job. Um, I think they're floating really well out in the field, uh, especially when it's loaded. I'll show you something a little different if you do get tracks though. So you see how the bottom of the tub is cut out and they've welded in a couple pieces, kind of like a fender for the tires. If you order one new from factory, I believe you could convert this to tracks. But if you order a new one, that won't be there. So this, this tub will just all be flat. You actually get another 15 bushel of capacity. Bout will move hydraulically in and out. Um, our old one did that. This one just moves a lot, lot farther. So with the extra reach, and the spout goes farther, we can really stay away from the trucks. And some places where the road is higher than the field, we're not in near as much danger of uh, getting the cart and the uh, trailer together. This rubber piece on the spout, it could come off or you can flip it around. And so the corner will be coming out this side. It would be a little bit shorter. Uh, we had one or two instances where that was almost down in the trailer or touching the uh, tarp bows on the trailer. So uh, maybe give or take on the rubber spout. Maybe we'll try it differently next year. I like with the ladder on the side. Our old one used to be in the front. Of course, with the auger folding across the front, you can't do that. It's really simple. It just pulls out and it has just a little catch right here. You can see that little kind of jagged piece there and then you just lift that out of the way and it goes back in. A couple of things I will say about the ladder, it's a big step to the first one, which is not that big of a deal. This transition here, when you get high enough, it's a little weird. You got kind of a short step and then it almost becomes stairs. I wish you had something more to grab onto up here, but you don't. It's going down is where it's weird. You feel like you might miss a step, but I haven't fallen yet, so that's good. And then put it away is easy. Just pull it out a little more, lift that. And it's out of the way. The tarp is set up better on this cart than our old one too. Our other one had a roll tarp. It didn't have any kind of guidance to it, so it could kind of shift back or shift forward and you couldn't get it all the way rolled over. This one has like a, a wind strap front and back. So keep the wind from catching it. That would be a problem on the old one. I'd like to have an electric tarp sometime because we have that on all of the semis. It'd be nice to have it on the grain cart, but the grain cart tarp doesn't get used as much. And it's got these guides front and back. If you look at the very end, they got kind of these rollers with a V in them that stay on the caps at the front and back. It's just really easy to roll. It's also got, you can see the silver across the back. Uh, that's a cable tied to the tarp that helps pull it back and forth. There's one on the front too. Hopefully that lasts. We've had those on semis before and they pulleys and stuff tend to fall apart, but it's really easy to roll over. It's also easy to roll back. So easier than what we had, but electric would be pretty sweet. And one thing that sold us on this particular cart, over a 1300 bushel, we kind of looked at a 1300 bushel with a right hand unload auger. And you're looking at the trucks from the right hand side, kind of all your tractor controls are there with your right arm. You kind of look that way, but went with the conventional single auger on the left hand side. But so j and has what they call this leaner. See this kind of extra piece that's bolted on the side so if i understand right this 1200 bushel cart is just an 1100 with the leaner but what that does is let this side the combine side you can be a little farther away with the combine and still dumping the cart on the go which we got this part way through the season uh, we were all done with soybeans we didn't really get to run any soybeans with it so our 40 foot draper we cut soybeans with on the old cart the tire was about five feet from the head on the combine. So one, maybe this track is a little narrower or close to the same, even though the tires are a third bigger. Um, but this gives us two feet closer to the combine to help us dump without being so close to the cart when we're doing beans on the go. 
So there's lots of carts on the market. Why did we pick this one? The size seemed right. We kind of like the leaner thing on it. it just seemed right for us. Uh, there was a place in the middle of Harvest that had quite a few in stock to go look at and choose from. So we went there and just bought it one day when we were having a slow day. We were waiting for the dryer to catch up and dry a bunch of corn. So you might know we had to repair our old grain cart. We've been wanting to replace it for a few years. So they gave us a, what we thought was a really good price on trade. So we said, let's do it. They gave us a really good price on trade. They came and got the old cart when they delivered this one, uh, brought it out here with a big pickup truck. Some other brands have features I really liked and some of them maybe had a lower profile. Uh, a couple of those though, instead of having the tub all welded together, uh, they're all bolted together. As much as we clean things out for all the different crops we do, we gotta be clean for the waxy corn. We gotta be clean for the beans we grow for seed production. We gotta be clean for the popcorn. Uh, just all those bolts sticking out in there would just be a lot more places for stuff to hang up. So that'd be a lot more cleaning. So we kind of want to keep things easy to clean because we could be cleaning out a lot during the season. Uh, I already talked about why we didn't get tracks. Probably wouldn't mind tracks, but hey, tires are pretty easy to maintain. And these big ones, I'm liking the way those are working quite a bit. Another thing, uh, we want the single upright unload auger. Uh, we don't have a, a belly auger and two a vertical auger. Why didn't we do that? One, simplicity, again, on those popcorn and those seed beans. That's one less auger they need to go through. The quality is really important on those two crops for us. So we thought that's just, that's one less transition they have to make to keep the quality up to par. And when you're getting in the bigger grain carts these days, there's some pretty amazing ones. Um, there's up to 2,500 bushel, maybe more. So basically, basically two of these in one cart. Some of them have dual or triple axles of tires. Having that horizontal unload underneath, that does, because you don't need the slope, because you've got the auger in the bottom, that they, they can be shorter, which would be nice, but I talked about how I wanted to keep it simple and not have two augers. So there's a lot of options on the market. This one just seemed right for us right now. So that's the way we decided to go. But those, man, those 2,500 bushel carts, that's two and a half semi loads on a cart. So that's pretty interesting. And some of them say they can unload like a thousand bushels a minute. I don't know if uh, you can get a thousand bushels a minute into a truck without spilling anything, but somebody on here will say they can. But this seemed like the right cart for us right now. So I think we're gonna be happy with this one for quite a while.